Okay. <laughs> so the uh, the next thing that we're going to be doing in our 100% playthrough is uh, robbing stores. So, the, yeah, that's a new thing that they added in this game, and I think it's really only in this game, because it definitely was not in San Andreas. Uh, but... I'm trying to remember if you could do it in GTA 4 or any of the other games. I don't think so. Oh, wait, am I going the wrong way? I think I am, actually. I thought there was... Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm tripping. Uh, yeah. I'm going the right way. If you like the, film explorer, uh, the first store we're gonna knock off, as it's knives. called, in the in game, handle, you'll find all of the is a bunch of tools right here. I thought that there was a uh, another hardware store a little further south, but I guess not. It's okay, Hochi. Try this. For those unplanned extended You know, it may be better to actually take that banshee, but it's all right. Hey, guy. Now, what were we talking about? Remind me. So, I don't know how long you have to hold them up for in order for it to count, but I think at least 2 stars is enough. Uh, okay, I guess the limit is three stars. All right, now let's actually check to make sure that that counted. Percentage. Uh, Stores knocked off. There we go. One out of 15. All right, so the next one is, uh, I think, that jewelry shop that we had to drop off a lot of people. But first, we're going to obviously lose our fucking wand level. You can focus on the important things. Do you travel in? Well, I bet. You know what? Let's, uh, oh my god. He almost fucking PIT'd me uh, from the front. <laughs> Hooting and carrying on. I have a plan that will save Florida from the yellow bellied snakes that want to slither into this great state from all places north. Oh, look. Stump jumping Jethro is using all three of his brain cells to talk. Enough! We've just started, and you have proved yourself, Mr. Shrub, to be just as they said. I grant you, 1980 was not a high point in my career, but I never applied for a sex change. I was merely in an exploratory phase, and besides which, Saul the Wheat Free Clown was a funny act. Once voted best up and coming dietary restricted comic act in the whole of Vice City. I tried to take it to the Catskills, but Mount Scary Large was full. Besides, we are not talking about me, we are talking about you. <laughs> what is he talking Actually, about? Actually, if I remember correctly, you didn't win. Mary the Meat Free Mime won. In fact, under legislation I am proposing, all of you vegetarians would be kicked out of Vice City. We were given canines and bicuspids for a reason. To open packages of potato chips. Hey, don't get me wrong. I always hated that bitch. What's funny about a woman not eating a hamburger? <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is the next one. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's it. I guess he gave me all the money already. Some chitlins and grits in the oven? You got a date with your sister, eh? Hey, be nice, man. God I damn just it. I want to talk a little politics and you made it all personal. Right. Let's all stop bickering, especially you, shrub. Oh god. All all right. confidence is at an old time. Nobody Ooh. feels safe. Just Sit the other night, damn. I saw a man running amok with a gun shouting he needed to defend himself. Gun sales are up, book sales are down. What do you oh, think, God. Jeffrey? Please, press the issue. All right, that's Whew. better. Stick into the matter at hand. It was well, a little hectic right simple, there. Mister. Immigration is to blame. People are flooding into our state from all over America. Trash. 
it's quite simple. They're bringing their highfalutin uppity out of state ways and corrupting the place, ruining it. That's why I and my organization propose we take okay, Florida I out of the think union. We the start a new as our own country and ban people this one right from here. Missouri or Kentucky or Philadelphia or any of them fancy places from setting foot on our soil. You I need this. Alright, yeah, you must have been giving me the money. Get in. Your views are a little extreme. Plus, I don't believe there are theme parks in Alabama. Then they should stop coming down my way and build redneck land or whatever. Damn redneck hicks ain't got no class. My views ain't extreme, mister. They're common sense. And what a lot of people would say if they okay, have the guts. The next one is if you keep letting people immigrate here from all over the so-called United States, guess what? There's no more room. We'll be piled on top of each other like they are in Australia. What we're going to do soon is build a river. A river I think of it's like over a river here. Yeah, it is over here. I remember. A river it. which runs from the coast to coast and cuts us off from the 47 states of wastrels and bad influencers to the north. We are going to cut Florida off. Uh, you might want to leave that door open. There we go. Okay. Moms against popular culture, or MAPC, or is it MAPS? Map K? I don't know. We're deep in acronym hell right now, or is it purgatory? And finally, we have Barry Stark, author of the book As Nature Intended. He's the editor of Vice City's Naturist News and is working feverishly Okay, so the next few I think we can do to all together the because they're all in the mall and we it's, place uh, Mr. Barry Stark behind a divider. Jewelry shop. It's my right as a person. Another hardware yes. store, I think a record Let's store. Start with the obvious, yes? And that uh, place the gash. To be naked? Yes, you can't stop me. Well, I'm a mother, so this I have to deal woman. with oh this God. issue every day. My adorable kids have learned that it's wrong to be naked. When it's bath time, they know to put on a bathing costume. That's that's also the reason there are no mirrors in my house. Okay. No Hopefully the car doesn't disappear. All right, where's this jewelry shop? We should do the gash last. I think the jewelry shop is on the second floor. Uh, the vinyl place. I'm just a guy walking through a mall with a revolver. Nothing to see here. Oh, there it is. It's actually on the first floor. I need to catch my breath before I rob you. What's up, guy? Okay, the next one is the hardware store. Ah, shit. I'm actually getting shot at. Maybe I shouldn't do them all together. Maybe I'll do two and two. I think, the, yeah, the hardware store is right over here. Uniform, pal. I see him. 
Oop, okay, alright, we're actually taking hits. Okay, that should be two. Next is Gash, which we'll try to do right now. Get the cash registers up here. Well, there is, but the guy is not here. Come on, guy, give me the money quick. Alright, Unmas. Ooh. Okay, alright, we're done. We're done. We're gonna have to come back for Vinyl Countdown. Shit. Good, alright, my, uh... I can't That's stay an here. Lesson about life. If you look at nature, you'll see many species that eat their children to protect them. Th this is especially true of hamsters. It's about putting the family first. That's really important to me, and where a lot of my morality comes from. And if you don't like it, find your own husband and stay away from mine, okay? Okay, but, and excuse me if I sound a little confused here, but... I don't think I understand. Now, my morality comes from looking at history and biology and working out what's best for my kids and screw anyone else. That's what this country's all about. I mean, I mean, I saw the hippies. What a load of claptrap. What, what's your kid gonna do at a school with a name like Moonbeam or Wave or Horseradish or whatever they call them? How can you take your kid to a little league game when you live in a communal farm growing drugs. It's awful. And that's what my life is about. Looking down on others. Yes, I think I can see that oh, now. Shit. Moving on. Pastor Richards. Hey, can I get some food here, pal? Here you go. Okay. Alright, let's get some armor, is and a then the best thing you we can, can get that for last shop. That help is to tell them to help themselves. There's that armor over here. Moral character. Morality, Maurice. There's not much left in this city. Every time a culture has taken on the doctrine of helping your fellow yes, man. Yes, I remembered. And guess what? Every ten years, someone's invading, burning down their homes, and taking their toilet paper. Napoleon, Stalin, Attila the Hun, all of them. After you read my book, you will understand. I may have been born in the sea, but I'm no dummy. Uh, are we going to talk about being naked? Yeah, <laughs> soon, Barry. Uh, keep your hair on and uh, uh, calm down, please, my friend. <clears throat> Divorce rates are up. Standardized test scores are down. Vampire sightings at the mall. Can the family be safe? Or, to put it another way, if we're meant to be monogamous, why weren't we born already married? Jan, over to you. Well, since I'm a happily married mother, Shit. I know the family unit is the basis of... Okay. All right, I think it's directly above us. On the other side. Okay, I think that should do it for now. Yeah, we got over half of them ready. Nice. Oh shit. Yeah, he's behind the screen. You can't see him. It's not that exciting. Imagine a flabby guy with a ponytail and a nasty rash. You'll get the picture. Imagine one. I married one. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, you were discussing the Degenitron, which I understand is a games machine. Then you swore. 
I'm sorry. It makes me so mad. Oh my God! I mean, Fucking what I bastards. heard my son Patrick the third. I heard him using slang words in the house the other day. Rad and cool and stick it. I mean, I beat him to within an inch of his life, and he will never make that mistake again. Uh, American should be spoken properly. Yo, but, can no, these guys relax? Me. I've Jeez. got children, you know. Please, this is really important. It's about the family. Look, look. Nobody knows how to cook anymore. Nobody knows how to kill anymore. Nobody knows how to kill dinner. My daddy was a very wise man before that tractor pull accident. My daddy taught me how to slaughter a pig. That's very useful information. Oh sure, I was a little nervous at first, but he put me in a room with a fork and a fat sow and told me he'd be back in an hour for some fat back and hog gels. As a mother, I'm All right, proud next to thing say is this I actually the pizza place with the piggy. I did it for my family and to, I'll do it I again. It Feeding the reload. family is my job as a mother. Daddy earns money go and goes away with the clock? secretary. Yeah, we can. Alright, this should probably make it spawn. When everyone is naked. I can't tell if you're rich or poor, black or white. It doesn't matter because we're all naked. Designer clothes? Try designer nudism. My body was made by the nope. best designer Shit. around. Mother Nature. That's why we're lobbying to build a naked casino in Vice City so old people can gamble naked and poor people can lose hope in the buff. It is written, chapter 23, verse 5 of my book, he that gambles his money away is a fool, but he who believes in me will go to spend eternity in space with other affluent, well-to-do people. It's that simple. Do what I say and you won't have to think for yourself. Oh, but I think it is, Pastor. We look around. Nudie clubs, discos, drinking. Do people want to be moral? Can you legislate morality? <laughs> Hell can yeah. Can we tell people how to live their lives? Fuck traffic. Absolutely. Yes, of course I can. Let's try Just buying like the this place. Or, or the cultural revolution. We have enough money. It's only like three G's. Yeah. We got our first piece of property. This will just come in handy whenever we uh, eventually get to the missions. Permissive society we can just save has and no boundaries walk across and the street. Boundaries, how do you know where the limits are? You have to know what's good and what's evil. You need someone to tell you so. Single moms have obese kids, it's a fact. While rich people have a lot of guilt, unnecessarily in my opinion. I agree. I don't think these people understand ah, just how hard it is slow. to potty train. You have to give a treat when Precious makes it poopy. My kids are big boned and they eat prunes every day. But that's what's wrong with this country. All of this emphasis on being thin and healthy. When my children are hungry, I hand them a spear and send them out to the park to catch their own food. They're learning how to Yo, be what self sufficient. The fuck? Why is this Yesterday, not spawning? Yesterday, my youngest, Jono, killed the postman. What the hell's going but at on least here? he was trying. So I gave him a cuddle. I told him to hit daddy next time he comes home late smelling of cheap perfume. Okay, it's time to take a break before we hear about any more criminal acts against government employees. You're listening to Pressing Issues. Morality is the subject at hand. Let's explain exactly how free radio without commercial breaks works. We'll be right back. You're listening to VCPR. All right, let's, uh, let's try going in again. Why did I just get a two-star wanted level? I didn't do anything. You for, up for walking cash. out. You know what's so great about VCPR? It's like a shining torch what of the cultural fuck? enlightenment for Vice City. In these times of darkness, when the hordes are so uneducated they can barely understand multisyllabic phrases like clean my shoes oh, better shit. Marissa or I'll report you to the IRS or dialectical materialism. Isn't it pleasant to have a patronizing voice on the radio? That's right, Michelle. With the way things are going under Reagan, at any moment the unwashed Huns from the Midwest could descend upon Vice City and Still enslave the not poets there. and post workers hmm. and force us to watch network programming that is a frightening uh thought. you know what let's try reloading maybe it'll spawn then oh fuck i don't think i uh i did not save after i knocked off all those fucking 
the stores. Ah, uh, shit. All right, maybe the autosave kept it. I hope so. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, it must have. Whew. And look at that, it actually kept my car, too. That's interesting. But we'll be saving. Just to be sure. Holy shit. I got really worried that I was going to have to... Um... What the... I was worried I was going to have to redo the stores again. Not that it was a big deal, but it's kind of a fucking pain in the ass to have to do that again. can't really listen to any of the radio stations except for the talk show ones. No, 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 not, not really. I'm from Hampshire, you see. I'm, I'm here on business. A wanderer. Yes, I, I was wondering. You're, you're, you're a good witch, uh, correct? Yes, a white witch. Oh, finally, there we go. You hit my car! Complete the look. Okay. This is a fairly easy mission. You just have to uh, deliver the pizzas and uh, get back to the um, the pizza parlor after end, after the end of each mission. Yes, poor man, so lost in ill at ease with his father, son, and mother nature. I hope he finds what he needs. And I need to take a commercial break. I think you only have to do ten levels. So it doesn't take that for, long. And I sincerely hope you woo, take a bath. We'll be back after this. You're on K-Chat. Don't go away. Hi, I'm BJ Smith. I You'll never get a promotion unless you move faster this time. Hey, come on, mister. Deliver these quick. I pains for nothing. We have Trying, bro. rewarding career maiming others as I have. You know how to stay fit. Through running, wrestling, stepping twenties down panties of foxy strippers, firearm training, nasal suit, and being the hell out of your fellow man. That's what keeps me healthy. And now, using training methods I perfected, it's going to work for you. With BJ's Fit for Football, watch those pounds fall off. I'm down to 300 pounds using exactly the method I demonstrated on tape. I mean, who are you going to trust to get you fit? A man who can rip your arm off and beat you with the wet end? Or some aerobics instructor who wouldn't get drafted by the local hopscotch team? Hell no. BJ's Fit for Football. Out now on beta and VHS. Remember, to win a game of football or life, you have to annihilate everything in your path in a blind race. Ever since Linda started working, our kids are home alone. We tried hiring a nanny, but she wanted health insurance. Yeah, right. That's when we got domestified. He's great with the kids. And he helps us, too. He's a great conversation piece at our special parties. It's like having a personalized alarm clock. He's the friend you've always dreamed of. Order Domestabot today. Man, can you take these? You're on K-Chat with me, Amy Schreckenhausen. On oh, very close. I like this. Stars, including me. And boys, have I got a treat for you. Next up is a living legend. A man who won the World Series single-handed. Known to his fans as Death in Tight Pants. And known to his enemies as, oh my god, I just got flattened by a truck. How is that fair? It's sports legend BJ Smith. So, BJ, welcome. Thanks. It's a real pleasure to be here. Oh, I know. But one thing, sweetheart, I never won the World Series. That's baseball. I played football. Yes, but it's all the same, isn't it? Football and baseball aren't the same. And one of them, you get bored during a five-hour game. You touch yourself a lot and start a massive brawl with players who are degenerates, egomaniacs, and criminals. The other's football. Yes, but it's all the same. No, Amy, it isn't. 
anyone can hit a home run. In baseball, you stand around the field, then volume your salary by 162, waiting for some action. Talk to a guy who just played an hour of football. He's been in the trenches getting eight. What are you waiting around for? He's knee delivering. One is a game for men, the other is a game for pansies who like wearing button-down shirts. They call baseball a national pastime. If that means making a million dollars by standing around all day, count me out. I'll work for my money. Yeah, BJ, just like me, I can tell you. Yo, baby, it's cool. I just want you to know what I did. I do? Jeez, get over yourself. You must have a testosterone imbalance like all those jocks who shower with other men. You can't tell me you don't look at other people's business. Baby, I played professional sports for 14 years, including high school, and I'm making a comeback. I'm a very competitive person, I grant you, but I ain't got no testosterone imbalance. With that little mustache you busting out, looks like you should be talking about some hormone problems, girl. Excuse me? <laughs> what did you say? Oh, oh, nothing. Damn, baby. You're so ugly, you make blind kids cry. BJ, you better stop being a bully just because I'm not into the jock scene. I like sensitive guys, you know, like actors or rock stars or that kind of thing. Not some great big hulking giant that has to tell everyone how important he is. Well, I didn't realize we were trying to impress each other here, sweet thing. I was thinking we was here to discuss my new exercise video or talk about my possible comeback in professional football. Not sitting here flirting with each other. I'm a married man. I'm on my seventh birthday. So you got a big family, all those wives. That's fantastic. Not really. You see, I really like family, especially when some show up you didn't know existed. Okay. I, tell you, I wonder day, what that could be. Deliver ten my pizzas. Big heart has caused me a lot of heartache, but when you're in the public eye, you can't always tell what people are about. BJ has met some real magnificent people. Seven wives. That's fantastic. Mister, deliver these pronto. A vamos, amigo. Downsized, right? <laughs> yeah, something like that. If you want to win in life, you have to change players. You can't play on the same team all the time. So, oh my god, isn't this getting intimate, BJ? I feel like we are really connecting. Yeah, I like to connect with you. Other men may fumble, but I go into the trenches like a doleman. That's the extra part of my video. What are you talking about? Well, as you know, Running the ball is like making romance. And one day when I was going for a touchdown, if you know what I'm saying, I had a great idea. You see all these fitness videos on television? It's always that idiot fool in leotards prancing about giving it the skinny thing. And I say, what is this? I mean, what in the world is this? These people ain't fit. They ain't got a clue. When you're fit, you know it. If you come into the locker room, you know I was fit for football, able to wrestle and pounce and hurt somebody for an hour straight. That's what people need. If someone comes to jack your ride, are you going to uh, bust a aerobic move? Hell no. But when you know how to grab another man by the face mask and twist him around and, and so he tears ligaments in his back and never play again, I mean, that's some real useful everyday stuff. God and damn. I you know, I ain't been there. You know, I just don't want to talk about football anymore. Well, take dating or washing the car. What good is a leotard when you're washing the car? But put a man in a helmet and a cup, and he can wash the car in dignity. That's fighting fit for football. A really very simple program. The best way to get your body fit is to have total disregard for your body. Every now and then you wake up and come out of a concussion and say, Damn, I look good. BJ, you talk funny. We'll be back on KChat right after these messages. Are you tired of your couches getting ruined? Oh, great. What are you waiting around for? These need delivering. Clearing up your home, why not send them to Musty Pines? We'll help bring back dignity, and we promise it will be the best three months of their lives. They'll enjoy being Damn. complaining, mumbling incoherently, skinny dipping and organ donation. And once a month, it's our famous Lucky Dip medication switching night. Musty Pines is located at a luxurious location overlooking Vice City's state-of-the-art sanitation facilities. You can still visit your old people, but now you have the comfort of knowing you don't have to. After they pass on to something better, guaranteed in three months or less, you can start enjoying their money. Finally, you can have quality family time again. Musty Pines. Now, you don't have to say goodbye. drive through service also available. <laughs> was just a drive through service. How the fuck would you even do that? Hello there, Danny. I didn't know it was hockey season. Hey, can I borrow a knife? A deadly curse. A deranged killer. A small town in tears. 
knife after dark. Rated R for retarded. <laughs> Ew, that's gross, BJ. Stop hitting on me. Hi, I'm Amy, and you're on KJAT. So, what do you need to do for BJ's fit for football? Well, Angela, anybody can do it. What you need is a real expensive gym, a team of trainers, medical practitioners, dietitians, a big crowd, and a pool who wants you dead. Dead in the dirt. I mean, a nasty, blood-sucking leech of a man who will destroy you if you don't destroy him first. A man you like set animals on. He's the enemy, and you sit in your foxhole till it's time just right, and then you pounce, baby, like a kitty cat on catnip. I'll sack a man, power drive him hard, again and again, because if it comes my way, I'll nail him every time. This video sounds like a lot of fun. Fun? Fun? You think it's fun when grown men cry in mortal agony? When you're so scared of what you're going to do to a man, you step outside yourself like an astral projection and police go Kent State on you and, and people are crying and bleeding and, and, and pouncing each other in the face. And that's just in the locker room before the game. That's your idea of fun? Yeah, I, I, I guess. <laughs> yeah, mine too. That's why I'm making a comeback. I've been retired two years, and I'm telling you, selling cars or appearing in soft drink commercials is not fun. Deliver these. That was just like cold and to the point. <laughs> I can appreciate it. City or whatever, screaming how they want you dead just because you're playing for the Mambas. That's actualizing the self. Wow, that sounds interesting. Tell me about it. I am doing. I, I'm fit to. Hey, wait a minute. Are you reading a book over there doing this interview? No, no, I can hardly read. Get on with it. I'm trying to sweet. You best listen. The comeback is a real deal. B.J. Smith, six-year Pro Bowl MVP, the man responsible for more broken bones than anyone since people had legs. I'm a fiddler crab. You can rip my arms off, and I'll just molt and grow new ones. Where? Right here, right now. Let's get it on. Of course. I, I mean, when? Uh, soon, baby. Uh, real soon. But and don't call it a comeback. Like the song said, I'll whoop your ass. And this time, I'm doing it my way. Ignorant fools, they gave me nothing to work with. The owners, I mean. What owners are you talking about? The owners of the team. They gave me nothing. They're the reason my marriage failed. I worked my ass off all those years sweating blood and, and puking my soul out, and they treat me like a tractor. Roll me around, treat me no better than adults. The guys that got hurt, they never saw a penny out of those monsters. That's just like Jade. Who's Jade? Jip? My friend. She's a goth. She got sacked for wearing makeup and an I Hate Life t-shirt to work and never saw a penny. <laughs> She like, um, football stuff. She teaches kindergarten, professionally. You know, I know a lot of players who need to go back to school after they finish playing. It's a tough life and you lose something. What did you lose? Hope, addiction, something. It's brutal out there. That's just like Jade. Those kids are evil little brats. Listen, are you going to talk about your freaky friends who dress like a funeral? I thought we were here to talk about BJ. BJ Smith. And I feel alive. I mean, really alive. Ain't nothing more and bigger than holding a man's head in your hands and looking him in the eyes and saying, I can kill you in one second, old man. Deliver the damn food, mister. All right, man, take it easy. What are you talking about? <gasps> BJ, are those muscles real? That's funny you should ask, because the answer is yes. They ain't implants or nothing. Wow, you're enormous. <laughs> nah, this guy's twice my size, but I'm quick, rich, and angry, like a Republican. So, oh, um, I see. Look, I ain't got anything more to say to you, and I can't fall in love with another guest or I'll get sacked. So let's go to the phones. Who's on line one? Hey, Amy, I'm a first-time call. Come on, you lazy bastard. Deliver this crap on time. Here's my question. How'd you play that game against San Andreas with two broken legs? Oh, I can't believe I'm talking to you. Wow, man, I don't know what to say. This is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> well, why the hell you call in? Don't worry, I'm a professional. The method I use in the game against essays is actually a part of my exercise video. When in doubt, go for the groin. I hope that answers your question. That's a problem with the public. Fans, I get it all the time. Know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I get that all the time. People say, are you that girl off the television in that show? And I say, no, I'm the girl from the radio. I just look like her. Anyway, BJ, that's all we have time for for now. Thanks, Amy. And um, look after that mustache. OK. Thank you. I'll be back on K-Chat after these messages from our sponsors. Don't go away. Are you tired of dad? Dad, no one wants to hear your stupid Vietnam stories. Are you tired of mom? Hi, Angel. Do you
you want to read a book or go outside? No! The arcade comes to your living room only without the creepy guys offering to show you puppies. Awesome! The Degenitron. You can play video games just like you were in the arcade. Excellent! Degenitron! The Degenitron gaming system plays three exciting games, including Defender of the Faith, where you save the green dots with your fantastic flying red square. Cool! Monkey's Paradise, where you swing from green dot to green dot with your red square monkey. That's red! And Penetrator, where you smash the green dots deep. Hey, come on, mister. Deliver these quick. You got it, dude. Ron brings arcade realism to your living room. It can even take quarters, and a strange, sweaty man comes by to empty the machine on Fridays. The Genitron, fighting the evil of boredom. I'll never go to school again. Do you have dry mouth? I sure do. It protects your teeth, bites and fights. Whoa, whoa, and whoa. Your food. But what happens when you run out of saliva? Help me, I can't talk. For personal dryness upstairs, it's Salivex. Wow, I can spit again. Salivex is more than saliva in a can. Salivex improves consumption efficiency by Jesus 50%. Christ. No more halfway cures like coating your throat with cooking oil. Oh my god. Yeah, I had to get into a fight with a cop <laughs> before I returned to the restaurant. He's looking at me funny. Deliver the damn food, mister. Salivex, when it comes to personal dryness upstairs. How dare he crash his cruiser into my my pizza scooter. Welcome back to KJAT. Oh my, my next God. guest is the star of the hit show, Just the Five of Us, where he appears as the rich father of a family of misfits. But more recently, he's working on the controversial theater piece, In the Future There Will Be Robots. Claude... Maginot. Welcome to the show! Thanks, Amy. However, you have mispronounced my name. It's Madge, which rhymes with badge. Uh, as in duh. And no, as in more than you. Magino. Anyway, thank you for having me on the show. It's always a pleasure to discuss my art. Yes! You're so funny! Now, Claude, you're an interesting man. <laughs> that was a little weird. me saying so myself. Because on the one hand, you're on the funniest show in the whole wide world, just the five of us. And on the other, you do those weird theater dance shows, which aren't funny. Yes, thank you, technical school dropout. I'm sure sitting here talking all day is terribly difficult. Juilliard is not. In the Future There Will Be Robots is not a funny piece. It deals with the most important issues in the world today. Love, pain, suffering, skin-tight pants, and well-stretched groin muscles. But see, music has no name, Amy. It's about depth and texture and sense of community that emerges from the struggle going on within all of us, between man and machine, between the angel and the beast. It's as if Petrushka and Leonard Bernstein were in a ferocious dance competition with switchblades. That is passion, my dear. Um. Hey, come on, mister. Deliver these quick. Surprised that I, s oh, I, was, I was about to say, I'm surprised that the Jimmy. wanted level star didn't go so away yet. Even though he looks so young. I'd rather not talk about my complications working with him. I'm a performer. I express myself any way I can. While I'd never attempt to describe just the five of us as anything other than worshipless pap, I need to support my serious art. It's like stealing a boombox to do live interpretive dance. If I bring joy to people's hearts doing an interpretation of a tree in the park, who is harmed? There is a value I derive from art, as a man, as a creator, and that is this. Never overestimate the dreadfulness of the mass market, the degrading excess of the culture, or the horrors that we all have within it. Great, yeah, um, me too. But as Mr. Chesterfield, you're so funny. What is it you say? Not in my house. <laughs> that gets me every time, especially after the drunken tramp you adopted has wet himself. Oh, say it for me, please. As they say in France, matrice. Please. 
Not in my house. Please, I came on your fine show to discuss art, not people that whore themselves out on the altar of commercial success, dancing like a puppet alongside a genetic freak. Although, I do that too. Okay, Moody. So, what do you want to talk about? Oh, I don't know. My performance at the Hollywood Bowl, perhaps. There are some that attend the concert inside. I am the concert outside myself. In the parking lot where we build bonfires and- Come on, mister. Deliver these things or you're set. All right, I hope that this is the last that one. <laughs> weeping and lying down in the streets. It's about movement, about encouraging ordinary working class people that there is something enervating about a modern dance performance. That seeing in the future there will be robots will change your life, no matter what your life's like now. Kind of like getting a new haircut. Yes, exactly. No, nothing like a new haircut, you halfwit. This is movement. Watch my hand. Yes, movement. There's a manatee on stage. See? He cannot hear from the wall of Wagner around him. We have lasers that shoot him down, cut him free, free his soul from the bondage of the past. And then on stage, we have snow that falls and represents love in all its forms. The robot makes a snow angel, and we begin to cry. Close curtain. Um, okay. Well, I'd love just the five of us. Please, 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 enough! Five succeeds while robots starve. Attendance has been poor. If I were opening this with the Orchestra Philharmonica di Jalapa in Mexico, there would be riots in the streets with small children giving me flowers and weeping. Here in Vice City, they wouldn't know art unless it came as a tube of beef jerky. They told me, Claude, it can't be done. Vice City is for sun worshippers and Philistines, and I told them no. I told them if I'm directing a work of commercial dross down there, I must save my soul with some serious art. But to be honest, Amy, they were <laughs> right. <laughs> These need delivery. The best artists are ignored. I mean, surely. Any right-minded person would rather spend an evening watching me express the meaning of space as I move delicately across the stage in the dance of desire and denigration than flopping around in a disco or a nightclub or sucking the electric teat of television. I know I would. God! I mean, what is wrong with you people? God, my hair. What? My hair is all wrong. It clashes with my dress. Zeus, Cicero, Shakespeare, Flaubert, someone. Please save me from this hellhole. My dear, you are so ignorant. I'm trying to save you, to save everyone. You don't see the art around you. Are you in search of old Lang Syne's, singing Madame Butterfly on a windowsill? or relegating yourself to a cricket in Huckleberry Finn. I am a movement that conquers love while you complain about your dress. Know you not how important my mission be? Right, cool. Okay, Mr. Chesterfield, I mean, <laughs> Mr. Magonaut, you gotta hang in there. You're on K-Chat, and I'll be right back. At the law firm of DeLeo and Furex, we understand that sometimes life throws you a curveball. We help our blue chip clients get their lives back after circumstances have. All right, pizza mission is done. Sue Goy. Uh, yeah, I think now's a good time to call it. We did two things here. We did all the uh, the store robberies and the pizza mission. I wonder what's next. Uh, RC bandit, fuck. Yeah, so I guess it'll be all the top fun missions. I think there's a... There's at least two that I can remember. There's the the racetrack in, on the beach in the northern part of the island. And then there's an RC plane one. That's eight six six nine. I don't know if there's a helicopter one here, but I guess we'll find out next time. As always, it's been real, and it's been nice. In other words, it's been real nice. I'll see y'all next time.